thought I would just give up writing at one point. Then we decided, maybe not. Let's go on and try again. And, and then shortly after that, it was actually very recently, I got a phone call that I'd won the Newbery Award. So I decided I'd be a writer again. You know, one of my great revelations when I won this award was, now lots and lots of kids are going to read this book. And that's so fabulous to an author because it's all you want. When you write, you want people to read your book. inspired the subject matter. I love the desert setting. The setting actually is a character in the book and, and that came first and then I thought if you have this little California town, population 43, and put a 10 year old girl in there, what will happen? And can she survive? Lucky is filled with hope and I think we all are at some level. I want the reader to see that the characters in this book are trying very hard to reinvent themselves and to change the direction of their lives and to, to take control of their lives. Children are in difficult circumstances and I think they need to have that sense of hope that um, these quirky characters can reinvent themselves and change their lives and find a higher power. Lucky carries around a survival kit backpack and she thinks that's going to help her survive. But what she learns is that no kit is, is going to guarantee your survival, but that love will. What aspects of your real life did you bring to the book? The three main characters, Lucky, Lincoln, and Miles, have the same sibling setup relationship as I do with my siblings. The dog, HMS Beagle, is very much my dog, Gandalf. What role did reading play in your childhood? My sister at age six taught me to read at age four using the LA Times comic section as our book. And I still read them every day. And then when I was maybe third or fourth grade, our teacher read Charlotte's Web and that became the beginning of me being an avid reader. How did being a librarian influence your writing? Librarians crave to put the right book in the hands of the exact right child. As a librarian, I was writing this book for the child in me. I would have liked short chapters, fast moving, but with real emotional depth. A higher power could be something inside yourself, or it could be something in nature. Short Sammy is a character in here who's looking for his higher power, and kind of all the characters are, and especially Lucky is looking for her higher power. HP, she was thinking. HP stood for hard pan, but she realized it could also stand for higher power. Maybe hard pan was Short Sammy's higher power because of its slowness and peacefulness and sweet smellingness, even though it was old and junky and out in the middle of nowhere.